For those of you who missed the show last night, how dare you? I did a little monologue on a dirty word known as assimilation. And in that monologue, I mentioned Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. Here's a little taste. Ilhan Omar was a refugee. She came to America as a young girl, fleeing the civil war in Somalia. Following four years in a refugee camp in Kenya, she was granted asylum to the United States. Congresswoman Omar has chosen to return American goodwill with grievance, not gratitude. You've heard her. She views her time in Somalia as blissful, while criticizing the United States as racist, oppressive, and torturous. Well, you know who saw the clip and tweeted this. America lets people like Pete make a living out of being racist. Pete couldn't make it to Congress because Minnesota voters rejected him. Oof, duh. Ilhan, that one really stings. After all, it's not like you call someone a racist every day. Oh, wait. That's kind of your thing, isn't it? <laughs> You're right. I make a pro-America argument for Americans of all races and all faiths, including Muslims, and I'm a racist. Got it. And some people did something, too, right? But I have to agree with Congresswoman Omar about one thing. I did run for office in Minnesota, and I lost. In fact, I got crushed, and I'm glad I did. You see, 10 years ago, look at that young man. I would have been a terrible senator, even though I'd been to the battlefield twice fighting those people who did something on 9-11. I was still young. I was politically out of touch. I loved the establishment and was really good at regurgitating scripted talking points like a teleprompter. The swamp would have eaten me alive. I would have been very useful for them. But thankfully, the freedom-loving Republican voters of Minnesota saw right through me and made sure that I stayed the hell out of Washington. And it turned out to be a gift. I needed, frankly, more time to learn and to live and to listen, don't we all? I didn't understand what was really being done to America by leftists like Ilhan Omar. And it took losing to help make me realize it. Since then, I've learned to, you know, think for myself, Buck the group think, and especially the establishment, I discovered we the people, and I've been in love with her ever since. Traveling America, meeting the forgotten men and women, and what they really care about was the best education I could ever get. Maybe if Ilhan Omar had taken the time to do the same thing, she wouldn't be leading the anti-American caucus with her fellow so-called squad members in Congress. And not for nothing, Omar is using my monologue to fundraise. You're welcome, Congresswoman. Some people might have some questions about where that money is going or something, you know. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.